with O'Toots here. Been on hiatus for a little bit, been on vacation, so I'm back. I'm uh, just going to show you guys how to build a ghetto hydroponic system um, from start to finish. So what we have here is we have a typical five gallon bucket with the lid. It's all clean, as you can see. You have rocks. You have a cup. It's a lid from a soap dispenser. Gorilla glue. And he's a fix all cement. It's typical super glue. An old spray pump. I'm going to be using that line there because it has a shutoff valve. Uh, over here we've got a uh, pretty nice air pump, trusty alpha knife, tubing, a three way valve splitter, two equal pieces of tubing, a large air stone, which is going to feed oxygen to our aquaponics, bubble ponics, hydroponic bubble bucket. Now we're going to take the uh, watering tool here and strip it. Take this tube out. Pull that little pink tube off. We'll lift with the spout. And a little nozzle on the handle. We're going to go ahead and remove that. All we're interested in is the on off valve. Okay, so now that we have our hole drilled, we're going to take our plastic hose that was stripped. And if you notice, it's got these two little notches. So when you put it in, it, uh, it takes a little effort. There it's in. So as you can see, the cord is in. There's no glue, but yet it's able to pick it up off the ground. All right. So let's just do the double-sided nipple. If you see. Uh, kind of makes a gasket so you don't even really need to glue it but we'll go ahead and glue it anyway all right so we've taken our gorilla glue and we've glued around our edges on the outside as well as the inside all right so we've got our lid here and we've got our other lid that we've taken the soldering iron to we've got our lid this lid fits perfectly in the top there. Gives it some depth above, so it has a light block. I'll spray paint this all black. As soon as that cable's dry to prevent any light from getting into the bucket. So there we have it. We've painted up the white five gallon bucket. Sprayed the exterior with black paint. That's to not let any light pass through. Minimal light. Once it's all sealed up, that pot is painted black inside and outside. Lid painted black. Bottom, don't worry about it. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our lid and this hose that I showed you here earlier. I drill the hole in the top. Most people will go through the bottom and the side, but I find that um, that has a big problem with backflow if you ever have a power issue. It's really hard for the water to travel up through the hose. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna dangle our, our stone here. We're gonna dangle that this way. as opposed to like that. 
Alright, we're going to dangle it. That's to give full use of the full air stone in all directions. Alright, so let's continue. Alright, now we've got our hose through the top of the bucket with our net pot hole in the top. So as you can see, put the lid on and the bucket, the hose now goes in the, directly in the middle of the bucket. Alright, so now we take our air stone and attach it to the hose. Now as you can see, the air stone has been hooked up to the hose through the hole in the middle. And there's a little bit too much length as you can see. So you just go ahead and pull the hose through the top until it dangles. That way it gives full air movement around the whole pot. Alright. This we have enough hose, just enough to get us to the air pump. Alright, because I like my air pumps down low. Lots of people say put them up high. But you want cold air going into your, your root system. So you don't want the hot ambient temperature air of, uh, of it up here when your root system and the coldest, freshest oxygen is down at the ground. So to prevent backflow into your pump, ruining your pump, if you have a power failure, you drill a hole through the top, drop it down the middle, then that way you're not stuck with one big net pot in the middle. You can now have five, right, two, Three, four, five. Probably even get away with six, but five would be a good start. So, we'll uh, go ahead and attach the rest and uh, we'll show you what's up. So, we're going to take our three way valve here. I've, um, I've taken the liberty of shutting off the two valves because we're only going to use the middle one. We're only going to use that guy. As you can see, this is a this is a dual air uh, air chamber pump. So go ahead and go ahead and plug those in. Now we're all plugged in with that. Two to one valve. Go ahead and this guy over there. All right, so here we are. Water test is complete. We have no leaks. Now, what the one-way valve was for was so that you can remove the nozzle here. And let it drain out. You could get a smaller plug that just covers that hole. It takes about uh, five minutes completely to empty the bucket. Lots of people use a bigger gauge hose. I didn't have one. You could use one, I'm sure. It would make the water extraction process a lot quicker. But um, if you don't have one, just go with what you have. You know, make the best of it. Doesn't uh, doesn't hurt anybody. Doesn't hurt the plants any. They're still going to be happy, just going to make your emptying the reservoir to change your water a little bit uh, a little bit more time consuming, but that's alright. The plants love the time you spend with them, so. Alright, so we've gone and filled up our reservoir with water, no leaks, good. We've got our net pot, we've got our pump, we've got our stone, pump, lid, let's go ahead. Place the lid right there. Bring that pot out so you can see that everything's in there with the water. Take our net, take our air pump. Make connection. That's 
making a lot of bubbles in there. It's wonderful. Alright, it's utilizing the full air, air stone, not just minimal, not just half of the air stone. So remember that. Go vertical. That goes in there. Boom. You now have a ghetto do it yourself bubbler. Deep water culture, guys. Deep water culture. Well, hope you enjoyed my video, everybody. Stay tuned for more. Peace and happy growing.